it's time for their big name reveal. These two little girls are welcome. The creature feature for this week is going to be one of my bearded dragons. It's super cold out there. I hope you guys are staying warm. Let's get into it. This bee was really struggling. I wasn't sure if it needed water. Put some droplets of water on the counter and it doesn't seem to be paying any attention to the water. So I'm going to put it in one of my flowers and see if it needs some pollen. Your mama's in there, but you can't go in there unless I'm in there to watch you guys. Too many big animals. Oh, Dandelion's been very interested in the dolings. He's been the most interested out of everyone. This group of 29 chicken eggs, one duck egg, has finished resting. And this is just cracking me up. I have a duck that's laying these little ping pong eggs. Oh, yes, everyone. My little lavender moran is growing up. And, yes, yes, look at you. Oh, look at you. I am admiring my valentine flowers. I'm getting ready to pot them outside in the garden. And the blossoms might get eaten by chickens. Or it might be too cold and the blossoms might be killed. But my hope is that these perennials will live in my garden bed. And I will see them over and over again. Oh, don't spill my coffee. Breakfast in the garden. Piece of toast, cup of coffee, lots of cuddles. This is kind of along the farming and homestead. We have been considering possibly adopting a large dog that would be an outside dog, primarily outside dog, for the purpose of being a livestock guardian. And they would have a shelter and everything. I've never had a dog that wasn't a pet. Our working dogs are also pets. They sleep in the bedroom, they spend most of their time outside, they go out, they do a quick patrol. Also, I decided to attempt to incubate the shellless egg. I don't know what will happen with it, but I wanted it totally separate because that way if it spoils or bursts or anything, I don't want it to taint my other eggs that are incubating. I also wanted to give a special shout out to a couple of viewers. Number one, Michael. You comment on every single video and you are just amazing. Whether on all of my accounts, when I post something to Facebook, YouTube, you're just so amazing. And I really enjoy your feedback. You're so positive and supportive. And also to Donna Stamp. You're someone that's been watching me for so long. I think you're an amazing woman and I am proud of you. My frizzle rooster looking handsome. Are you guys waiting for your brekkie? Always looking for the snacks, you two. It's Betty. Some of you might have seen on my TikTok we caught a skunk in that trap. I have a quack update. Oh, my goodness. You can see the water trough was frozen. It's just starting to thaw out. This uh, duck closest to me is Rebecca. The one behind is Jemima, and that's Quack's mom. You see Quack is not with them. She has been going back and forth between sleeping with the chickens and sleeping with the ducks. But you see, for the most part, she's still just kind of staying on her own, which is a little sad. And you can see we've added cat food to the bird mix to give them protein through the winter. And little doggies like to get in there and eat it. Naughty dogs. A breakfast egg. Still warm. There's Harry Styles, my very stylish frizzle cockerel. And isn't he a handsome devil? In there with Francesca. Daphne and the Dolings are still in their little stall because it's pretty cold out. Probably wait till about 10 o'clock when uh, the sun is out. And oh my gosh, these babies are growing, growing. They will be two weeks old tomorrow. Aren't they precious? You can see the Mung Rooster is still recovering. Oh yes, and manly as ever. He's still recovering from his little fighting injury that's been slow going. He and Laura 
are here in the little woodpile yard. Just, yes, I hear you looking for grubs. But the good news is my Bela Fielder rooster is all healed up. So that's really wonderful. There he is. Look at him strutting his stuff. When he first came to us, he had a pretty bad infection. Little piranhas always begging for snacks. I don't know if I told you guys, but I found out that my thermostat on my incubator was on the fritz. You can see a three degree difference between the thermostat on the incubator and my new hygrometer that I bought. That's the second one. Had a couple of defective things, which explains why my last two clutches were just total doo-doo. My beans are just starting to sprout. Hopefully I'll have actual microgreens soon. I moved them to a slightly sunnier location. Instead of being down here kind of tucked away, I'm putting them up. So we'll see if that has any effect. His feet had wounds. His legs were all red. And now he's looking way better. His feet have really small sores. I kind of have mixed feelings about having a dog that's purely a working dog. I know historically that was the purpose of dogs. And I know that there are breeds that are weather hardy and intended to be outside. We have pretty extreme weather here, down to 21 degrees at night, up to 110 degrees sometimes in the summertime during the day. And here's Bella asking for second breakfast. Second breakfast. Second breakfast. I know this is silly, but it's one of my favorite things of the day. Look. Look at this, a secret nest. I have this round of eggs that's been in the incubator for six days. So that's almost one week down. Have the crazy shellless eggs. It's been in there for one day. I have no idea what's gonna happen with that, but I'm curious. Won't that be cool to be able to watch an embryo develop if it, if it grows? My eco tip for the day is to save your bottles. Save all kinds of bottles. And you can use them for starting seeds, propagating plants. You wanna come inside? It's cold out there. I uh, used this old bottle. I have no idea, it was like a milk jug or something I found on our property to make this jewelry tree to hold all my necklaces. These are some just kooky bottles that someone gave me. I have all kinds of little bottles from all sorts of things. This was actually a vase from a flower arrangement, so that wasn't very creative. A Di Serrano bottle. This was an old Victorian hat pin holder, and I use it for holding my pens on my desk. Basically, repurpose and reuse, to me, is the most fun way to recycle. That's my eco tip for the day. Here's one of my handsome boys. That was a last fall baby that's just starting to show his rooster colors within the last month. So excited. I put out my spring wreath. Spring's just around the corner, guys. One more look at all my beautiful bulbs before they probably get eaten by the chickens in the garden. But as I said, I have high hopes that they will live out there and thrive and basically, I'll get to see them bloom again. Aren't they gorgeous? Just want to give a big shout out to my sweetheart who made my Valentine's week extra special. I love you so much. Someone's laying an egg. <laughs> Breakfast time for Pugsley and friends. <laughs> what a life. And here is a painting of sheep, because it makes me happy. Thought it might make you happy too. His legs look completely better and he's walking. He was having trouble walking before. We just gave him a treatment of Epsom salt 
and warm water daily and put uh, antibiotic ointment on his feet. My creature feature for this video is one of these red bearded dragons that I reproduced last spring in, oh, I would say March. They're getting up there in age. It's way too cold to see this animal outside today, unfortunately. So we're just gonna look at him in the window. What a handsome little dude. I really like bearded dragons. I know they're kind of considered to be a bit basic by some veteran reptile keepers, but they're a whole lot of fun and I really enjoy them. What do you think, Cairo? What do you think? No dragon for you? No dragon? <laughs> It's late enough in the day that the girls are gonna go out into the park for a little while. And it's time for their big name reveal. These two little girls are Rihanna and Ariana. Isn't that cute? There's Mama Daphne. Sweet girl. I feel like it wouldn't be safe to get something that was super cold weather hardy or something that can only be in the warm. I was wondering if any of you guys had any thoughts or experience or an opinion on livestock guardian dogs and what you think about it. Let me know. Here are the girls out in the park exploring Rihanna and Ariana. Gosh, they're growing so fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys look like little bunnies. Look at you guys. Oh, gonna play queen of the mountain? Oh my goodness. You enjoying the sunshine, my bee? I wouldn't call this a problem, but I'm having, I guess you could say, an issue with my Monstera. He's getting so crazy and heavy that he's no longer growing up. Hope everyone had a wonderful Valentine's week. Again, stay warm out there. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time.